Happy Sunday! I am the supplier, and this is my Sunday book stack for the week of September 29th, 2013. This week's badge to go with my shirt. Bow ties are cool. Because, well, bow ties are cool. And I can't find my hat, so we'll just stick it on my shirt. So this week in news, a friend of mine left me a link on my Facebook wall yesterday, actually, that was talking about Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, and it's been uh, challenged in Minnesota, I think. So because of that, and because when I find out about book challenges and I listen to the things they have to say, it makes me mad. Um, I'm going to say, if you haven't read Eleanor and Park, read Eleanor and Park, because it is awesome, and the things that they challenge, the things that the, the, the small cadre of people who are challenging the book have to challenge, make sense within the context of the book, and make sense within the context of the, of, like, lived experiences of people who have you know, the experiences of the characters in the book. I will leave a link to the article in the description. It was a fantastic article. Uh, yeah, it, it's, a fan, it's a fantastic article. It's not like the last article I talked about, but because of the challenge, and since I've already read Eleanor and Park, I'm gonna pick up Fangirl, also by Rainbow Rowell, uh, because I definitely believe that while there are some books that are not appropriate for some audiences, I, I have difficulty taking away a single book from an entire audience because, well, where, where is it my place to talk about how other people should raise their children, you know? As far as what I'm reading this week, today I am finishing The Language of Flowers by Vanessa Diffenbaugh. Um, I've got a live show with the Nerdfighteria Online Book Club at 4 o'clock Mountain Time over on the Nerdfighter Terria online book club channel, which I'll link to in the description. The Flower Language of Flowers is reminding me of The Pictures of Hollis Woods by Patricia Relly Giff. So that is how I am engaging, and I'm really curious. I try really hard not to read what other people write about books while I'm reading them. Um, I didn't do that with Chopsticks and then found out at the end before I got there, and that was a little bit disappointing. And I have two books left on the list of books that I planned on reading in September, which means I need to read pretty quick, I think. Um, one is Please Ignore Vera Dietz by A.S. King, because I've only read one A.S. King book, and I think she's got a new one coming out soon, or it just came out, and I want to read it, but I want to finish the books that I have by her first. So I have this one, and I have um, Everybody Sees the Ants, but this one is this month. Um, I don't know much about it, except for apparently it's funny. But I'm excited about it because I really liked Ask the Passengers, which was the first book that I read by her. Also, this week I am going to read The Night Circus, uh, which I'm also excited about, and I'm contemplating getting the audio for because Jim Dale reads the audio. And he's also the guy that does the audio for um, the U.S. edition of Harry Potter. He, not, bad, not a bad guy to listen to. Um, I've heard that the audio is good, a couple of my friends said the audio is good, so... Um, and a couple of my friends said that the book itself is good. So, I'm going to read this this week as well, and I'm going to run away from you guys really quick this week because, well, I've got papers to grade and a book to read, and I'm trying to crawl out from under the mess that I have made for myself by getting behind. So I will see you guys hopefully on Thursday. Um, the plan is to start making Feature Shelf again regularly. I tried and then failed, and now I'm going to try again, and hopefully I will fail better. Thank you, Samuel Beckett. And if you've got thoughts, comments, concerns, whatever, put them in the comments, and I will see you there soon. Until then, I am the supplier wishing you happy reading. Don't forget to be awesome.